kindergarten, I have something fun planned for you. But remember, artists, we have to listen to Mrs. Milligan, okay? You're going to write your name at the bottom, and you're going to use a pen, and you're going to see why you're going to use a pen. This is called a stencil artist. You're going to hold on to it in the middle, please. You don't want it to move. You're going to take your pen, and you're going to roll it around, drawing the outside of the stencil. These are Mrs. Milligan's stencils. I use them over and over. See how I might need to turn my paper, but keep my hand on my stencil. And I'm turning it, and I put my stencil all the way in the middle of the paper. And I keep going all the way around, and I set this aside. Now, artists, there's another step to this. We're going to do some Jackson Pollock warm color painting. Now, in these containers, and you'll come back and visit me, but we have to be being good listeners and listening to what Mrs. Milligan has to tell you. This is tempera paint that's been watered down inside as a marble. I only have the warm colors because it's going to be fall soon, and warm colors is a great example. <laughs> you can see where I had uh, containers, extra containers that I used. These are the warm colors, artist. Red yellow and orange. Think of the sun or a fire. So I'm going to show you the next step of what we're going to do. But the first thing you have to do is to have your leaf outlined with a stencil, set it aside, name on the paper, and I'll show you what's next. I'm back, Hinder. Now at the back table, remember everybody's going to stay at their seat until Mrs. Milligan asks you to come to the back table and hopefully we'll get these all done today. If not, that's okay. You've already traced your leaf. Name is on it and you're gonna flip it over, okay? So, artist, here's a spoon. We're gonna get out, Mrs. Milligan might have to do this, we'll see if we can do this. We're gonna take some marbles, we're gonna dump it in, and now I want you to be very careful, artist. You're gonna be moving this around. See how I've got a little bit too much paint on there, but that's okay. I'm gonna move this around, all the marbles. I'm not shaking this, I'm holding on to this box. I'm being patient. Like I said, we'll have a center set up. Oh, look at this beautiful temper paint that's moving around. So now, after that, Mrs. Milligan will take these marbles. I will put them back in the cup for you. I might take my spoon. I'm going to get the marbles out of here. And the next thing that I'm going to do, artist, is then you will get to put take your paper very carefully it will go in the next warm color. I will take a spoon. Mrs. Milligan will do this for you. I might have one or two little marbles, okay, with the paint. I set it down. Remember, if we shake this, then Mrs. Milligan's going to take your, your paper away, and we're not going to be able to do it. Shake it, meaning I would be bouncing, and those marbles would go every place. It might be kind of noisy in here. Your job, artist, as well, other people are doing this artwork. You are sitting at your seat working on what I have ready for you. Okay. And then, if you wait patiently, you'll get to come do this, too. And this is based off of an artist called, his name is Jackson Pollock. And he is known for having, well, it's kind of noisy, isn't it? He's known for having splattered artwork. Uh, this is an abstract. He splatters his paint, but he uses a big paintbrush. But we're using marbles. My next step would be to put my yellow on there. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these afterwards when they're all dry. So the next time you come in, because we're not taking them today, they have to dry. Then we'll turn it over. We'll cut out the leaf. And you'll have a beautiful fall leaf. All right, kindergartner. We are ready for the final step. Now, Mrs. Milligan has been waiting, waiting. I'm here on a Saturday afternoon, and I need to go home. So, <laughs> mine is still not dry, but like I said, you're going to have a whole class. Next time you'll come back, and you'll have them. So, see how my name's on the back? But see how mine's a little wet? When you cut, artist, remember, we nibble, nibble. We are not sharks. We move the paper around. Like I said, Mrs. Milligan's having a hard time because my paper is still wet. Sorry about that. And we just keep moving the paper. Be very careful. And we're going all the way around. Artists, go right on that line, please. And the nice thing is, if you make a mistake, 
you won't notice because it's on the back. So I'm going to nibble around, go all the way around. These little pieces that are left over, artist, they're going to go in the trash. And when we get done, I'm not done yet, but I'm going to go ahead and stop. See how it will become a beautiful leaf. And this is inspired by the artist Jackson Pollock. Last step, kindergartners. Put your name in a black marker, nice and neat, on the bottom left. Snap that cap. Let Miss Molly take a nap. Here's your leaf that you finished. You've cut it out nice and neat, hopefully. You're going to set it down, face down like this. We've already talked about frame of glue. I have it on the inside of my leaf, not going all the way to the edge. Can you see that artist? Then I'm going to pick this up. Mrs. Milligan's was wet still. Yours is not going to be wet. And I'm going to place it to where my leaf is, kind of looks like it's floating, okay? And then you're going to press down, like I said, we count to 10 like we had done before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mine is still wet, so I cannot do this, but I wanted to finish this video. Then you will have a beautiful Jackson Pollock leaf. Please remember, kindergartners, if I keep yours, you will get it back eventually, or I might hang up the entire class's artwork. I haven't decided yet.